Hello dear students. Today in this video, we are going to prove theorem 3, which is from class 9 geometry. The statement of theorem 3 is the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. Dear students, in theorem 3, we are given an isosceles triangle and we have to prove that the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. So at first we have to draw a triangle ABC, which I have already drawn in order to save the time. So first we have to draw a triangle ABC. At first we have to write on given a triangle ABC, a triangle ABC in which AB is called AC, in which the two sides AB is equal to AC. So dear students, we are given an isolated triangle and we have to prove that the base angles of an isolated triangle are equal. Dear students, when two sides are equal, then the third side is known as the base. That means in triangle ABC, the two sides AB and AC are equal. So the third side BC is the base. Now according to the statement of the theorem, the base angles, the base angles of an isolated triangle are equal. So already we have written given a triangle ABC in which AB is equal to AC. Now we have to prove angle B is called angle C. That means the base angles of an isolated triangle are equal. Now in order to prove this theorem, at first we have to take construction. That means we have to draw AD perpendicular to BC. Perpendicular, the meaning of perpendicular is the line which makes 90 degree with some other line. We have drawn AD perpendicular to BC. That means we have drawn AD such that AD makes 90 degree with the side BC. This means after taking construction, draw AD perpendicular to BC. Now we have got two triangles. One is triangle ABD and another is triangle ACD. By showing two triangles ABD and ACD congruent, we can easily show that the base angles, angle, angles B and angle C equal. So dear students, let us now show the two triangles ABD, the two triangles ABD and ACD congruent. So in the proof, first we have to make a table. In first column, we write serial number, then statements, then again serial number, then reasons. Dear students, now we are going to show triangle ABD and triangle ACD congruent. In triangle ABD and triangle ACD. Angle ADB is called ADC. Dear students, in order to show two triangles congruent, the two triangles must satisfy the congruency test of triangles. Dear students, there are altogether five congruency tests of triangles. So already we have discussed in the previous video also. So now this the two triangles ABD and triangle ACD, we are going to show congruent by RHS fact, by right angle, hypotenuse and side. So dear students, angle ADB and angle ADC, we can take both equal because they are 90 degree, they make 90 degree according to our construction. Then we'll take AB is called AC, the two sides which are already given equal and then we'll take AD is called AD, that means common side. The two triangles ABD and a ACD, they satisfy the congruency test of the congruency test of congruent triangles, which is RHS fact. Dear students, so let's write on at first in triangle ABD and in triangle ACD. First, let us take angle ADB is called angle ADC. Angle ADB is called ADC, right angle. Both are 90 degree according to our construction. Now in statement number two, we'll take side AB is called side AC which are already given equal, side AB is called side AC, and which is the hypotenuse. Then we'll take side AD is called side AD, common side. Side AD is called side AD, common side. Then the two triangles ABD and ACD. The two triangles ABD and ACD, we can write congruent. The reason is by RS's fact of congruency test of triangles. Then after showing two triangles congruent, this is we know that when two triangles are congruent, then the corresponding angles and corresponding sides are equal. So here in this theorem, we have to prove angle B is called angle C. That means now we can write angle B is called to angle C. Angle B is called angle C because the two triangles ABD and ACD are already congruent. So this means now in statement number three, we can write that angle B is called to angle C. The reason is corresponding sides of congruent triangles are equal. So before we end this video, let's review the proof of theorem 3 which is from class 9 geometry. 
distance, the statement of theorem 3 is the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal. That means if an isosceles triangle is given, then the base angles are always equal. This means in order to prove this theorem, at first we have to draw a triangle ABC. Already we have drawn figure so that we can save the time. So first we have to draw a triangle ABC in which AB is called AC. An isolated triangle is given. That means two sides are already given equal. Then we have to prove angle B is called angle C. That means base angles of an isolated triangle equal. This means first we have to take construction. We have to draw AD perpendicular to BC. We have to draw AD perpendicular to BC so that we'll get two triangles ABD and ACD. And after showing two triangles ABD and ACD congruent, we can easily say that angle B is called angle C by taking the corresponding angles of congruent triangles. So this means in triangle ABD and ACD, first triangle is ABD and second triangle is ACD. In triangle ABD and ACD, first we have taken angle ADB is called ADC. Angle ADB is called ADC. Both are right angle. Then we have taken AB is called AC. We have taken AB is called AC. I put news. And then we have taken AD is called AD, common side. That means by right angle, I put news and side. Right angle, I put and side. We have shown two triangles, ABD and ACD congruent. Now after showing two triangles, ABD and ACD congruent, we can write angle B is called angle C. We can write angle B is called angle C, which are the corresponding angles of congruent triangles. So angle B is called angle C, the corresponding angles of congruent triangles. So this means I hope you have understood the proof of theorem 3, which is from class 9 geometry. And if you have not subscribed our YouTube channel Con Mass Academy, please subscribe it so that you will get the regular updates of important questions of mathematics and the solution in time. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you will easily get all the new updates of the solution of mathematics. So thank you. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye.